For Afghanistan, it's a cycle with no end. Body after body lying next to each other, this time the victims of a powerful truck bomb. Many were high school students staying in a dormitory nearby. Several buildings collapsed in the blast, trapping dozens of people. I treated my own family members wounded in the incident, and we spent the night in my neighbor's house. I don't know when this country will be peaceful. I beg everyone for the sake of God to please stop it. A hospital was severely damaged. Several of those injured were transferred to Kabul and recalled what happened. At first I heard a blast, and right after the blast all the windows shattered. And I don't know what happened next. Such actions don't exist in Islam. Violence is increasing across the country. Fighting between the Taliban and government forces is fierce. According to the UN, more than 500 civilians, many of them children, have been killed in the first three months of this year. The Logar car bomb attack comes at a tense moment for Afghanistan. The foreign troop withdrawal is underway and will be completed well after the May 1st deadline stipulated in the Doha deal that was signed between the United States and the Taliban last year. The Taliban has warned that if foreign troops stay past that date, it will resume attacks against them. The Pentagon and NATO are releasing few details about their departure. And with America's war coming to an end and a stalled peace process, Afghans are facing a new and uncertain future. Filio Contrafuri, Al Jazeera, Kabul.